Hey, what is up, Kalar? It's your boy Kalar here, back again with another video. So today we're actually on Rude X, and it's a great server that I want to do a video on. And yeah, so we're actually giving away of a giveaway of a hundred dollars to three different winners. So make sure to like this video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to see the chance to be part of the giveaway. And let's get started with the video, guys. So to start off, I want to mention that the server is actually owned by the same owners of Spawn PK, and it's kind of very similar, but it's more of an eco-based server. So that is pretty cool. I know you're thinking this is not old school, but you could switch it to old school graphics, which is pretty nice as well. I love the client, it's pretty nice as well. Like how you have a lot of options to ch switch stuff up. Like, you know, the fog right there, I could turn it off. Shift clicking, I can put it on. Also, I want to mention that the monster drops, they have a nice drop table for the NPCs. So let's say I've just put A, and I, all these monsters come up. And yeah, let's see, let's see what it is for the giant mole. So it tells you all the drop rates and the rarity and whatnot. And yeah, so you can get a pet there, <laughs> one out of 4,000, which is pretty cool as well. And of course, the other achievement system, which is, you know, they just do the thing they ask and you get it, you get some cash. I also want to show off this thing right here, this money making activity. So each day, I think each time you have an activity to do is a daily reward and you get these items for rewards, which is pretty sick. So you teleport there and you do the activity and you pretty much get cash for it. Also, now looking at the teleport interface, it's pretty cool. So this is the money one I showed before. And the training teleport, so it has that little training emoji right there, or, you know, the sign. And yeah, you can, I guess, pick how to teleport right there. It gives you the option, which is pretty sick. Yeah, I find that this makes it much more simpler. So yeah, you see, you want to go train your chunk combat, basic training your raw crabs, you see, raw crabs, and boom, you're here. That's awesome. And also this boss teleports with a little sword. I guess it tells you the drop rates right there, everything cool as well the possible drops they have all these awesome uh, monsters like all rogue kraken cerberus of course which are pretty sick and the thing that i'm most excited about is their mini games i've heard a lot about these mini games and i'm very excited to try it since this is a, a, a super tour we're gonna make this quick i'm not really gonna show it i'm just gonna go to them and talk about a little bit about them i know this one right here karazi is a it's kind of a survival based mini game oh it says i cannot bring any items so i'm gonna go bank or item. okay now we can teleport there so yeah, it's a <laughs> we're we're still we're still level like three, so we're not gonna do anything well. But yeah, it's basically a survival based me and like the jungle is filled with like a bunch of creatures that you have to kill and and like it has like items and stuff and resources that you can they can get to help you survive. It's 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 a it's a survival based game and it's awesome. Like I wanted to try it out. They put the, the developers on here put a lot of work and effort into the, what they do, so that's pretty sick. But yeah, basically with that mini game, you do kill players. If you kill a player, you get at, your time added to that game. And you end up with any of the items you loot in that game. So any kind of items you want that you get from that mini game, you get to keep after you die, which builds that incentive to kill more players and get more activity in that game. Overall, it sounds pretty sick. I can't wait to try it out in my next video. I hopefully will get when I train more combat stats. I could try do, to do it more because right when I started, I just got one hit from that one uh, boss right away or NPC. So for this mini game, the Wilderness Cursed Cavern. So you pretty much get this orb, and it tells you to the Wilderness bosses. And you get 24% chance of a blood money rate from kills and whatnot. Yeah, so you get a bonus. Sorry, not a chance. You get, so you get bonus of blood money from the wilderness kills. And yeah, so once you get do by this, uh, it teleports you, you. You can teleport to 50 level. It takes, takes you to a portal. And yeah, pretty much it's dangerous. So don't <laughs> don't risk your bank. But you can make bank off this. Like getting blood money and whatnot. You can buy stuff. And I, I don't think I mentioned this before. This is like, this is like, a, like the player owned store right here. So... You can buy and sell stuff, your items and whatnot. So yeah, that, that, that's the POS. And I found this pretty cool as well. They have an imbued wizard, which which you can buy imbued rings as well. You can, you can imbue your rings and whatnot, which is pretty sick. Then there's this guy here, Coladin, who has the mini game, uh, mage mini, mini game right there. So the server has a lot of content to offer, man. I do recommend trying it out. You know, log in and try it out. I'll have the link in the description down below. Come, come online and try it out. This is the server tour. I'll be making more vids on here later when I can. I, I want to show off more more games and opening more boxes up on here as well. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to check, be sure to join in the $100 giveaway I'm going to have later on. And yeah, peace out, guys.